everyone, the next tutorial I would like to try and do today would be for us to use the three common things up top, which would be the notes, alerts, and polls that you could send on a Modo. Your note is just basically a little message that you're going to send off to your students, keep them up to date, or um, any contacts that you might have. Say, well, welcome to the class. You can attach a file to that. Once you click on File, it'll open up your browser window. You could send them a website, or you can have a library stored file. What is important is if you send to, you could send to an entire class. So you can see on my left side of the screen, my groups. I can make it go to, just by typing the number 8, my 8th grade class will automatically come on up. Or I could send it to just one student, and I could send it to him. And then hit Send. And this way it appears I sent it to him. You can also tag these. Um, you can create a tag if you like. A tag is just basically it's going to help you sort through things a little bit easier as you start to have a lot of these. Um, mine could be greeting. And you can sort them off and your tags will appear off to the side. If you don't like something that you posted, you can go back and edit it. Or you can delete it. Um, I also found that the pop-out post has been beneficial if I have students who try to um, put inappropriate things on the classroom wall by sending me notes they can be printed off and attached to referrals and notice what is very important though if you have a student uh, on their account the students can only send a message directly to a teacher they cannot send messages to and forth each other so they could send them to each the teacher or the whole class and what they try to do is they'll send it to the class and then they'll hit reply and then they'll have a threaded discussion underneath it. Okay the other thing I'm going to show you next is the alert. The alert kind of limits you to uh, 140 which is basically a tweet and you can make this um, it's going to appear in big black words so I'm going to do this in case of like emergency or something you know um, your assignment is due tomorrow. I'm going to send it to my one student or the class. All I got to do is type in a few letters and it actually comes up and then I hit send. I now notice that it's in big black bold letters. It's going to make it try and come out. So that's really going to try and grab their attention. The poll is the last trick I wanted to show you. Um, I get I use polls to get a lot of feedback from my students really quick. One of the most common things would, let's say, if we were using a program in my class one week, um, such as Glockster, and I would ask them, um, you know, do you like Glockster? Do you feel comfortable with it? If so, I will get the netbooks for another day. And you can give them the option. I love it. You know, um, I I need more time, or you can add additional answers. Please no, and then you can just again send it to the class or the student, and you hit send. Now here I am logged in as a student and I had that poll that's just been sent to me and let's say I could use more time on it and I'm going to click my dot and then hit vote. Since I'm the only one that voted, I'm at 100%, but your students will get to see the, um, the, you know, basically the responses and you will have to refresh them over time to see them as it does do fairly lifetime. It's a great way to get instant feedback from your students.